Hey guys, it's Elisa here and today I just finished up my, I don't know if you'd call it like a hair tutorial, but it's me dyeing my hair with my L'Oreal Healthy Look. I am a huge fan of the L'Oreal Healthy Look. This is my third box. First time my mom did it for me in November because I had to go to, I think, IMAX and it was like, I don't have time to get my hair done. And so my mom did it for me in Truffle and I liked it so much that in February I did it again and then I just recently did it again in August. So I technically should be doing it pretty often because it washes out in 28 washes. And the whole idea was that I was going to cover up all this like brassiness and fading color that I had and then go to my hairstylist. But I've been so busy and I've just been really happy with the results because I'm trying to grow my hair out not really sure what I want to do with it. So I've just kind of been using this L'Oreal Healthy Look and I really like it. So I did a little tweet asking you guys wanted to see the video and you guys did. So I'm going to show you and don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Facebook because I've been having so much fun on there. I'd love to talk to you guys on there. And if you're interested, keep on watching. Hey guys, okay, so I'm in the bathroom now and I am ready to dye my hair. So the last two times I've been getting my hair done by my mother, I've been getting it done with this color Truffle from L'Oreal. And I like it because it's so gentle and it's like 10 minutes in and out. Like I haven't gone to see my girl in a long time and I feel really bad, but I just haven't had time and I don't know what I want to do. So I'm just kind of like, eh, just kind of cover it up with this stuff for now. And I really like it because it makes my hair really shiny and it gives it this really lively brown color. So really my hair is this dark right here and it's just like brassy and yucky down here. And so enough with the ombre look. I'm going to kind of move on to the really Elisa is ready to start over again hairstyle. First thing you're going to need is a towel and an ugly shirt like this. So I'm wearing an ugly shirt and I'm going to get hair dye over it. And I usually dedicate a certain shirt and towel and all that stuff to dye my hair. The last time I actually did my own hair was like six years ago. So this is going to be fun. Okay, so I'm going to take the towel and I'm going to wrap it around here and I'm going to make sure that it covers up my neck as much as possible then I'm going to safety pin it. Now these are my things that I do officially. You could do whatever you want but I just think that this really helps out. Okay, then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to make sure that you put a little bit of Vaseline around your face. The reason for that is that if you get any of the dark dyes on your face, it's going to be really difficult to remove. So just to make sure, I always put moisturizer on my face because it's easier to remove it off of the glistening moisturizer than just your bare face. So I have this. This is my Vaseline, the little flip top. And I'm going to apply it to right at the edge of the hairline. Now if you have really dark hair and you're going light, or the opposite, you have really light hair and you're going dark, you're going to want to pay special attention to this area. Or if you have like grays and stuff like that. Because you want to make sure that you get that color right here, but you don't want to get it on your face. So I recommend if you're doing anything drastic to go see a professional first and then, you know, decide whether or not you want to maintain it yourself. Next you're going to take the number two cream colorant and you're going to squirt that into the number one developer's cream. Then you're going to shake the bottle. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to section off my hair, make sure that's all detangled. And everyone has a different method. You can do from top to bottom. If you're doing your roots, start up your roots first if you're trying to lighten it. And just really depends on what you're looking for. There's lots and lots of instructions inside of the book. Since I'm going dark, really, I can just be very carefree about this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this tip and I'm going to go right through into my roots first and then distribute it because I am doing an all over color. All right, let's hope that you guys can see. So I'm just really depositing the color into the roots. Then I'm going to just go layer per layer and really get right into the root area. Once you have your whole entire like root area, then you're going to move on to the ends of the hair. And so you can get all this color and distribute it. If you have long hair, then you may need two bottles. I recommend um, if your hair is my length and thin, you really only need one. But if your hair is thick, then you probably definitely need two bottles. I have a lot left, so I'm just going to run it through the bottom because that's where it's the most lightest. And so I'm just going to do a nice cover up right on top of everything. Totally drenched in this stuff. I'm going to work it in back in 10 minutes. Okay, so here's the results the end so you guys can see 
think you guys can see, but I mean, I think it looks really good. I'm excited and happy because it only took me like 30 minutes max. It takes 10 minutes sitting in your hair. It doesn't smell or anything. It has like a nice floral smell, which is good because I get nauseous and I'm like, hurry up already. I just wanted to say hello. Here's me dyeing my hair. And thanks for subscribing and I'll see you guys later. Bye.